Well, there are two things that we need to propose. Again, it comes back to uh, individual accountability, to get them self-sustaining so they're not taking the government. We need to have a tiered system on this because I understand if, if you're making X amount of dollars, you, you, it ties in too much to the free enterprise and capitalistic society that we have. Right now, we're socializing medicine, okay? So we got the government involved in a free enterprise capitalistic environment. So there's some muddy water here, you know? So what we need to do to clear this up is it comes back. If you, if an individual is already taking federal or state benefits, they go to an emergency room with a stuffy nose. This is what's happening. You got people going to the emergency room that don't need to be in the emergency room because they don't have a copay in the emergency room. So with the stuff he knows, they go in the emergency room, okay? So now they go in. They don't have to pay anything. They leave. Well, what they need to do is if you're on assistance, we need to limit the number of dollars that you're actually entitled to from a living standpoint. If you go to the doctor's office, even though you, as a private paid citizen, if you go in and you have insurance, you still have a copay. And you're going to think twice before you go in that emergency room, well, maybe I can wait to go to the doctor tomorrow because I don't want to pay $200 a copay. So when these Medicaid or these patients come in, I believe that we all should have health care. But we should not allow them to abuse the system in a manner that they're doing. They need to feel some type of pressure when they abuse the system. So if they go in with a stuffy nose, now they're going to lose whatever that copay is in their benefit. It's going to come from that benefit to pay that. So it's the same money. It's not double money being spent because right now it's double money being spent. We're giving them the state and federal aid. Now we're also paying their Medicaid bill. So it's a double whammy. They're, they're getting twice that benefit. So if you take from one and give it to the other, they're still getting the health care that they need, but they may not be able to buy that pack of sirloin steaks that they wanted to. Maybe they got to buy ground meat next time they go to the grocery store because their EBT card has now been reduced by the amount of their emergency room visit. I mean, some people say that's barbaric, that's not right, that's politically incorrect. Well, I'm not a politician, and I don't think it's about politics. I think it's about what's right and what's wrong. You and I have to feel a burden when we go to the doctor. We have to pay that bill. Why shouldn't they? And maybe that will give them some incentive to be self-sufficient. Then you can do whatever you want to do. But when you're living in mama's house, you play by mama's rules. And that's just the way I feel about that. So I think that's what we need to focus on is taking away that dependency, putting them back on self-sustainability. But when they're on that system, they need to feel the pressures just like the rest of us do. Right now, they don't. They don't feel any pressure. You know, and I was in a forum a couple of weeks ago, and they had another gubernatorial candidate talk about we need to expand Medicaid. We need to take this money from the federal government that they're talking about, this Medicaid expansion program, and we need to take as much federal money as we possibly can. I beg to differ. We need to take as little federal money as we possibly can. We need to become self-sufficient of ourselves. You talk about states' rights. You can only have your states' rights when the state's paying for itself. You know, as long as we are taking federal money, we are tied to that doctrine that they're going to push. Education, common core, all these things, health care. Whenever you take that money from the federal government, you play by their rules because daddy's in charge and he's paying the bill.